Test, 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 test. Hello. Right now I'm in Dubai. Um, it's 4.42. I woke up like 45 minutes ago. No, it's late, but uh, since I got here, I got insomnia. And um, I can't sleep really well. So, I know it's not right. Don't ever do it. <laughs> Unless if you have insomnia, then, then that's okay. The good thing about Dubai in this time of the year is the, uh, is the weather. Um, the, the, the weather is not very cold, but at night it gets very cold. It really gets very cold at night. Um, but wearing like a sweatshirt, I think it solves it. It really solves it. But in the morning, it's cool. It was so foggy today, so foggy. And um, I heard some accidents happen, but, but I wish that nothing happened, nothing bad happened to anyone. This is the first vlog. The whole target of the vlogging is uh, like seeing the most commonly used expressions in the daily life conversations. So you would know what to say and when to say it and how to say it and to whom you should say it. And um, I think it's going to be educational. I just think, I just think it's going to be really educational. But, I mean, this option is available for movies. If you watch movies with English subtitles, you're going to get the same thing. But somehow, this is going to be more realistic because I'm just a human being. Supposedly, I just think I'm just a human being. <laughs> uh, so just using my expressions i think my expressions will not be any different from your expressions in there. Uh, uh, anything that everybody would use the same expressions right and by the way the word expressions uh, anything you say in english is an expression so if you don't really know what's the meaning of it anything you say in english is really an expression if you say i want to sleep it is an expression because something that you express from your mouth. Well, I should meet someone now. He's buying me lunch. Yeah, he's buying me lunch. And um, I don't know what are we gonna eat, but let's go. I'll go for a uh, uh, strawberry. <laughs> One, man. <laughs> All right, so uh, Ahmed here, my friend, uh, told me about a service here in Dubai. Um, like, if you don't have a car and you cannot afford a taxi or an Uber or, or a Kareem, uh, you can you can take a car, like rent it, but temporarily. Like, yes. you, you just take it on the ride. You just take it for one ride uh, with an application. Like with an application. Minute. Yeah, just like per minute and uh, super cheap. Yeah. Exactly. Super cheap. Okay, so we're gonna see now what's gonna happen in the application. It's the cheapest in Dubai. In the car. We're just we're gonna go to the car. Okay. We know the location of the car by the GPS. Okay. This our car. We will okay. take it today. Okay. Just. So what's gonna happen? Here? We're gonna open it okay. using the app. Then he's telling you, are there any damages, which are not mentioned in the card mark remark. And we we're gonna wait until it works. Okay. So it should unlock now. Oh. Yep. Okay. 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 This Very is easy. interesting. Please this is interesting. Okay. okay. Uh, I have a count on you drive. Okay. Follow the instructions you have to put on the key. My coot. Okay. Okay. Uh, I forgot my coot. <laughs> forgot your coot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me remember. Please take the key. Now we take our key. Right. Start the ignition. Yep. Oh, okay. It's just working. <laughs> okay, the, the wipers just started. So, uh, Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just end the discussion. Yes. Like, there's no more explanations. No comments. Um, 
Also, one of the uh, most important and, and interesting uh, points here, okay, <laughs> uh, is is the safety. Yeah, this is one of the most important things that I see in, in my opinion, my humble opinion about Dubai is uh, the safety. Like you can literally drop your kid in the middle of the street in the middle of nowhere and just you're gonna come back and find him in the same place, right in the same place. But not to say to try that, but uh, just <laughs> uh, this is just an interesting story. Yeah. Yes. So let me ask you, what's the first thing when you visited Dubai, uh, the thing that blew your mind, the very first thing? First, yeah. as you said, that it's too much safety here, Yeah. at everything, like if I left this phone here, mm -hmm. I would come back find it here. Okay, in the same place. Yeah. Okay. And the towers. And the towers, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's like, take a look at the towers. Yes. See how how high they are well, maybe the, the so this is one of the uh, uh, interesting stories that I wanted you to live and uh, I, I can I cannot imagine the concept of you drive in Egypt <laughs> <laughs> just imagine that it's easily to open the car and take it uh, well, you're gonna take the car but <laughs> giving it back or not that, that's, that's a totally you different will not story return it back. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So, shall we go? Yep. All right. Let's go. So, traveling to the, uh, to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Abu Dhabi. Uh, we were in Dubai, and we're traveling to Abu Dhabi because we have an event uh, for business English and uh, conversation and how to improve uh, pronunciation. You saw the normal content, but what I noticed that people here. Um, they can they can they can do conversation they can talk but they just have some little things they, they need to stress um, some people need to travel some people need to get promoted in their jobs um, so they just need to stress some things not not everything not as we have in Egypt because in Egypt uh, we, we have nowhere to practice the only where to practice or the, or the only place to practice is the course or if your job is English oriented or in an English environmental place but here people speak English all the time so they just need some tweaks um, in order to improve the language so the event should be for three hours and uh, open for the best inshallah um, um, I don't know maybe 30 minutes to get there See if 30 yes, minutes? Around, 30 minutes. around 30 minutes so um, best of luck for all of us <laughs> بصوا خلينا اقول بس النهارده هيحصل ايه عشان انتوا تبقوا عارفين اللي جاي بالظبط اولا انا بقى بنتكلم عن حته انا اعرف اصلا اللانجوج ليفل بتاعي ازاي انا اعرف مستواي ازاي لو انا مش قادر اعرف لو مش قادر مش لو مش قادر اريت نفسي مثلا من 1 ل 10 اعمل ايه ده حاجه طب حاجه تانية طب لو انا في ليفل ايه محتاج اعمل ايه يعني ايه اللي انا محتاجه ايه البوينتس اللي انا محتاجها النقطه الثالثه والاهم اعمل ايه بقى يعني السؤال ده بيبقى صعب جدا للناس طب اعمل ايه صح كده؟ اروح اجيب مين؟ طب اجيب ايه؟ طب انزل ايه؟ طب اتفرج على ايه؟ طب اعمل ايه؟ طب برضه في الاخر هنوصل حته ده اعمل ايه؟ طب هنوصل برضه حته ده اعمل ايه دي في الاخر. So uh, yesterday I was going to Abu Dhabi for the event and uh, it was a really nice event. And I wanted to do uh, like I wanted to record a video after it but um, I caught cold. I don't know how. Um, I woke up with a sore throat and um, it's a really bad cold. <coughs> so I couldn't record it yesterday. But after the event, uh, the interesting thing was the, uh, the the Lebanese food. By the way, the Lebanese food is something to try, something really good. It's the bomb. Everybody's got to try it. Everybody has got to try the the Lebanese food. So now I got a class in, in about 45 minutes and I got to move. So, uh, I'll see you there. Yeah. And I like the lighting here. Good. Um, interesting and interested, some people say that 
interesting for something and interested for people. Well, actually, some people are interesting, right? Like you might see someone that you got introduced to, and he's very interesting person. He's a very interesting person to talk to. Okay, so don't take it like that. Interesting is the cause of the feeling. Interested is the person. So I love teaching. Why? Because teaching is interesting. interesting exactly, and I'm interested in teaching. Understand it? So I was just in a cafe uh, studying and working on TOEFL materials. And you might have a question of, like, why TOEFL? Because I really love doing things that not normal, not, like not everybody does. I'm always trying to think out of the box. And TOEFL, I think, is a bit abandoned back in Egypt. So. I'm getting there. So uh, last day in Dubai, today I had uh, the last session of the course. Uh, it was actually the first course ever to do it in Dubai. And inshallah not the last, yani. hopefully not the last. Uh, then I have an, um, an event uh, for interviewing skills in about half an hour. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to pass an interview and even if you have some broken English, how to hide that or how not to make it that clear to the interviewer. Um, so hopefully, inshallah, it's going to be a great event and um, beneficial. Well, just as you can see, you already know that it's my last day in Dubai uh, for this trip. So just packing my pack. I don't really know how my wife does that. I mean, it's just too hard. <laughs> it's just so hard to put all of this together. Just anyhow. If my wife is watching this, thank you. You're doing an awesome job.